Right, welcome back guys to a brand new video and we're at CEF Live 23 and I'm on the Super Rod stand and it's been a manic day. I've had to record this later on because it's just been so mental. I've never been to something like this before and there's so many people I've been meeting Lodio, taking pictures and it's been really cool. But I just want to show you around the Super Rod stand and show you the deals they got on because, well, everywhere has got good deals on, but I just want to show you the super odd stuff because that's where I am for the next two days. Right, so this is the one of the four stands we got going on, and on this stand is some good deals. This is probably my favorite one out of all the stands, to be honest with you. So let me show you what we got going on. So we got this tool bag, which I think is about like 150 quid on its own on CEF online. But you get pliers, which I use all the time, snips, which I use all the time, tape measure, which I use all the time, and uh, screwdrivers, table tongue, cable tongue, and a level, all for 130 quid plus fat. So what's that, I don't know, quick maths, 160 quid. Don't count me for that. So that, that's a sick deal to be fair, which I do like. Uh, this new set of screwdrivers, again, which I want, I may have to try and ID these up my, uh, up my top, I don't know, but they got like a seven piece um, screwdriver set now. So they got the board screwdrivers, which are good for your MCBs to make sure you're getting the right um, connection. And they've got an Allen key, which is good for your isolators in the main, so it just fits in lovely. It's just like a screwdriver. So that's a good bit of kit. We got some tattoos going on. As you can see, mine's a bit broke, so not permanent, obviously. Um, stickers, which we're gonna stick on over there in a minute. And another one of my favorites, why well, it's my favorite stand, these little bags. Now, when I come to trade shows, these are the little stuff that I look for. Quite cheap, 20 quid and you get little pouches, like how neat are these? Just clip them on the side of your bag, like I got a Vito, um, I'll clip that on, happy days. You've got all little stuff in there, keep your Wagos, your little bits in there. So I like them, I am definitely gonna buy them uh, tomorrow and take them home with me. And then a rolling tool bag, which I haven't even looked inside yet, so let's have a look. Oh, it's just full of tools. Sorry for you guys. Can I give you both a sticker? I'm giving out some of my stickers. You all right? So here's yours. We're, just, we're doing some recording, we are. Oh, right. I do, he's recording now, that's right. <laughs> but, uh, right, so on the next stand is a lot of the stuff which I don't understand, so I can't show you a lot of it. Is um, The only stuff I do use is this, the data. This is good for the RJ45s to crimp these down, which I do use a lot, and it's also got the reference codes on there. You can strip um, with it as well. I think this is a tester. I've never used it, so I don't really want to explain it to you when I don't know what I'm on about. Um, that's a coax stripper. Right, I'll let Sam show you the, how to use it because he's done this about a thousand times today, so. <laughs> so literally you just do it so it just comes out of one side, forward a couple of times, pull it off, and you still keep the braiding on it as well then. And it's ready for F connectors or BNCs. And then you've got a crimp tool as well, so straight in. Oh, it's that easy, is it? Nice and tight as well. I don't when any of them come loose or anything with the customers. I've never, TVs back and forth. I've never actually done a quacks myself. I didn't know it was that easy. Yeah, it's all that. technology now, really, isn't it? But you yeah. still need to go and repair the, the yeah, these yeah. jobs, don't you? Know? Ah, yeah, nice bit of kit. So yeah, there's not a lot going on this one. Um, there's another good deal, a similar deal to what we looked at over there, but they got data stuff included. So if you do a lot of data, this is probably a perfect set of you. You can tell how good that price is when you actually add everything up. So yeah, this is a cool little stand. Right, so on this stand is, is a bit more happening again, all the good stuff really. So this is the new socket holder tester. Um, it's tight. So um, you just simple clip out on the end of your bag and then you'll just keep your, sorry nice. Yeah, cheers. And just hold your socket tester. We've all been here digging it out at the bottom of the bag. And it's also got a link between the line and your suit and null your lead as well on your tester. So that's a nice little goodie that is. About 20 quid, but it's, so like when I come to these shows, I'm looking for little deals, like a ah, little gadget, so I love that. Um, we've got a super odd camera. It's a bit more in depth. I won't show you this now. I've done a few TikToks on this before, but basically you attach all the rods to it and get up in the ceilings and you can get up on your phone. So that's good. Then these, these sold out very quick today. We didn't expect to sell so many. And it's these R1, R2 leads. Now, if you do a lot of testing on your own, these are perfect. For it, you just clip that onto the earth bar and then that's straight onto your RCBO or your MCB. There's two different sizes. 
so depending what uh, breaker it is. So yeah, these these again like 20 quid, but a little gadget and well worth the money. We've had to get another load in uh, for tomorrow. So we, we won't run out by like one o'clock, I think. So the other tool is this. I haven't actually got one of these myself, but it, I think I might make a purchase of this, this uh, the next two days. You can add mul multiple size hole saws onto one arbor. So if you've already got a downlight hole, but you need to make it bigger for your new downlight. It's perfect for that. We've all been there where we try to open up the hole, you damage the ceiling. So again, another cheap tool, but it comes in handy. And then lastly on this stand is the rod set. We've all used rod sets before. Um, I've got a mega set. We all know how much time it saves on a job when you're trying to fish cables. This is a, something that every tradesman, well, electrician anyway, needs on the van, no matter what. So, yeah, I think they've got a deal on with these at the moment as well. I don't, I'm not too clued up on all the prices, but well worth the money, all of this stand. Right, so on this stand is the expensive stuff, to be honest with you. I hope they don't hear me saying that, but now we've got some cool little things on you. So we've got like a thermal imaging camera that plugs into the bottom of your phone. So if you're on like an EICR, and a lot of insurances now, insurances now are asking for images of the boards, it's a little nifty thing you can keep in your testing bag and if you just plug it into your phone, grab the picture, go straight back away, instead of carrying a big chunky, we've all seen them like a big camera thing where you gotta take a picture of the board. So I do love that. I can't afford that yet. So that's um, staying out of my bag at the moment. But honestly, I do need to get one. They are a great bit of kit. Like this one, if you're using thermal imaging all the time, this is a bit more, you know, better quality, uh, up to date stuff. I don't know too much about that, so I won't go into too much depth. You'll have to have a look online. Now we've got all the multifunctional testers, and I think, which one have I got? I think it's this one I got, and I use it quite regular, just a thin one, and um, I just keep it in my bag. We all need a multimeter as electricians, you know that, but they all do different uh, kind of variations of different things, so make sure you're looking into which one you actually need and which one you're going to use the most functions of. Um, some USB chargers. I haven't got that myself, but I can imagine that comes in handy. Um, moving back over here, more of the super rod uh, camera stuff, which we've already explained. And I think that could be it, really. And we're going to go and stick some stickers on the sticker wall. So we'll, if you are coming up here, make sure, well, you, you will have seen this after now, but make sure you should have stuck your sticker on anyway. So. So we're going to stick my own sticker on as well. Now, if you, are, if you have got one of these off me, they cost a lot, so make sure you look after it. When I bought these, I bought them from like Switzerland, I think, and I didn't realize. So I had to pay like 20 quid um, fees for something. I was like, bloody hell. So they end up being like a pound a sticker, and I've only got like 50. So yeah, we're going to stick it on, and i have already got two on you, but why not, innit? Where should we go? Should we go center again? Dead center? I right, right then. Here we go. So on this wall, we got the bags again, um, some of the data stuff, which I've already shown you, those little bags, which I like, screwdrivers, uh, the normal hand tools, and these knee pads. Now, I've been looking at these. I don't know whether to get a pair myself, because I find well, the ones you slide into your work trousers, they irritate my back, the legs, the trousers. So I want to give these a go, because it's like a really nice material, so you can just slide them on under your trousers, the trousers over, and if you're kneeling down, or you can even put them over your trousers. So I think they could be quite good, so I won't mind trying them out. Right, so we're switching up a little bit here, and we're going to do a voiceover, because I felt so awkward walking around with a camera with so many people there, I just did not want to record. So yeah, we're going to do a voiceover, so bear me with me, because we're going to do it all in one. So let's see how this goes and see how many times I stumble up, is it? But yeah, let me just walk you around. I took the camera all the way around the show. So at least you can get a grasp of what's here. So if you didn't turn up yourself, you can get an idea of what's here, what's about, what ha what's happening. And um, for next time, is that on the CEF Live? I don't know how often they actually happen. Um, you can make that decision if you want to come or not. And that Wago stand was absolutely incredible. I'm sure they won an award for the best stand which was there, which is understandable because it looked like they pumped quite a bit of money into it and it did look really, really good. They've they've smashed that, to be fair to them. So yeah, there, there were so many brands here. I couldn't believe how many stands were there. That's a cool bike. I wouldn't mind having one of them if I could afford that. Um, DeWalt, but we're with Metabo, man, so we didn't bother going in there. Um, what else is up around year? I can't remember now. I made it. I'm doing a voiceover a couple of days later, and I'm just refreshing my memory. We've got Excite. Um, that's the city stuff in there. 
uh, car chargers. I didn't look into there too much. Big wipes. We've all used big wipes. There's F4P. I've used some of their stuff before. And what have we got going on? Yeah, Ludon. Um, what's down here? So, oh, the Milwaukee stands coming up. That'd be good for some of you. Apparently, like, if you're going up there to buy a full set of Milwaukee uh, drills or whatever, you can actually get, like, a couple hundred quid off. So, it's actually worth going up and missing that day of work if you know you've got to buy a load of stuff. And that's the good thing about this event. If you know you've got to buy certain tools and whatever, it, you can get good deals. Like, on the Super Rod stand, I showed you the, showed you the deals. And like I just mentioned with Milwaukee, with the power tool stuff, you can get good deals. On every stand, they had certain stuff. The only thing which I thought was quite weird, um, CEF only allowed the stands to sell a certain amount of products like super rod they were only allowed to sell 15 products so that they could only stock that amount and um, it's the same with all the brands they could only sell um, different amounts to each other which which is a bit weird I, I feel like you should be able to sell what you want to and you come buy at the stand you had to fill out a form they had to go and take it to the a middle place and then they send you to a different place to go and pick up your products so it's a bit weird how it worked but i suppose it is what it is it's good for the customer because they can walk around like a shopping list essentially and handling at the end as you've seen then swa we got whisker which i should have stopped off in there because we all use whisker it would have been nice to see what products they had going on gripple that's great for commercial work uh, uh, there was like stuff for uni strut and tray abb you on the right day you have your dinner Um, we had free food which was it was just like a meal deal nothing special but you know fair play to cef um they didn't have to do any it, it was decent food so I was happy with that anyway. You've got Schneider, one of the big brands. And there's the better look at the Wago stand. Look at that glass balcony, like, on a, on a temporary stand for two days or whatever it is. Fair play to them. Absolutely smashed it. And they were giving away two uh, a fixing tray full of Wago. It was, like, 250 quid's worth to the first 50 people who turned up. And I'm not joking you. People were queuing up, like, half hour, an hour early or whatever it was and sprinting. As soon as the thing opened, sprinting straight to there to get that. And I don't blame them for 250 quid. I would do the same if I was allowed. <laughs> but, yeah, we moving on up. It's just a bit more. This is where the tech talk is, where they was giving some informative information. And good stuff as well, to be fair. I can't remember the guy's name who uh, who um, pre presented it, but... Um, yeah, he smashed it. The TIS stand, well impressed with their new tester. I believe it is the MFT Pro Plus. Don't hold me to that, but it, that's an amazing bit of kit. Expensive, but I would love to get my hands on one of them. Maybe I can try and get a couple of videos on one in the future or something. I don't know. Um, Some more uni trunk stuff. I use their stuff quite a lot in work with South Hills Maintenance, actually. Good stuff. Eaton, solid brand. We all know that. Contactium. And then we're kind of head out heading back over to like the Weir in super rod bit i didn't have a look in Weir. i should have because i do like Weir stuff um and there's the super rod stand looking cool and then we got some more bits and bobs up here i don't know what to be fair i was next to this brand i didn't even take notice what it was probably should have done you've got yepic that's a new app that i've just started using myself and it's really good if you work on a different sites and you're taking pictures Yepic allows you to like track everything it, just download it, it's free, and it is honestly, it is a good app to be fair. No promotion intended there. This looked cool, um, like a buzz bar system. You can attach car chargers and tap off with it, so that's a bit different and look good for like factories or whatever. Scruffs wear, you know, I wear my scruffs all the time, so I thought I'd pop in and say hello and have a nose about, see what's going on. It's the same old stuff, really, with the scruff stuff, but you know, solid, solid gear. Um, I forget what's down here now. Oh, you can get like free coffees all day not great coffees but again it's free and it does a job skull more um what was down here tough flex i've been using a lot of tough flex lately I find it a bit easier than armor but it depends on the environment you're in obviously um and that's where you collect you give in your receipt and then they send you the collection point my energy i did want to have a chat with them but just didn't have the time um i wanted to talk about the zappies because we've recently fitted some at south hills maintenance but yeah that's kind of it you so get, back you get an idea now. now and as you can tell i'm quite tired it was a long uh, couple of days and i've just done that voiceover that was all in one so make sure you bear with me on that um just i just got it done and just talked you through what was there but i enjoyed the event so much uh, so much i met Nick Bundy, it was nice to have a chat with him. David Savory and Nigel and Linda, nice chatting to all of them. Mark Allison, what a bloke. Um, who else did I meet? 
It was Neil Bridgman. I met so many people. I was surprised at how many people like recognize me from my videos. And if you're watching this now, I do appreciate you coming up to me and having a photo and tell me how much like my videos help because you know it's not something I usually think about when I make the videos, but actually hearing it, it, it does feel nice. It does make me want to pump out more content, knowing it help it's helping people. And I had a good chat with Wayne, um, the guy who invented the R1R2 leads with super rods and whatever. And I spoke to him, I said, look, he's a he's a tutor himself, and I just said I wanna try and help people more now and it's like he said i can try and help out the college so look forward to see what we can do to work together in the future and what we can bring out i got a lot of exciting things in the pipeline at the moment which i can't really say too much so i'm hoping i can get a lot of this stuff over the line and done but yeah the cf live event was, it was so good like meeting all the guys like i've just said and just having a chat with people and meet putting faces to the people you spoke to online so yeah it was really good and i appreciate you all for coming out and i want to say a big thank you to super odd for everything they've done for me they looked after me super more than i expected way more and everyone there was so so nice so make sure you check out their products uh, they deserve it so yeah thank you for watching this video it's not maybe the best video in the world but at least you know what was kind of up there if you didn't go and maybe gain something from it i don't know but See you in the next one.